Hello everyone, a very warm welcome back to another Black Country homebrew video. So it's brew day today. Yeah, citrus smash. Yeah, we finally found the time to do brew. Citrus smash, we saw across my loof came through with the uh, 2023 citra hops. So we jumped straight on and placed an order. Yeah. And here they are. They're here. And they're here. <laughs> so we're just going for a really simple grain bill. Just Marisotta, two kilos of Marisotta hops in the boil. We'll go through what they are later on in the video. Yeah, and then dry up and... Yeah, dry up and... Nice, simple, plain beer and just see what citrus like. On the initial smell yesterday, I thought it smelled a lot more limey. Mm. So, yeah, I'm really interested to see what they taste like. Yeah. Brewing on our lass again today. Yeah. We're using books now because we're yeah. book smart. <laughs> <laughs> Look how far we've come. I know. <laughs> so yeah, brewing on our lass. Yeah. We're, we're just enjoying brewing that on on the moment and save Fenton bringing his boiler all the way over here. We're just going to be boiling on the Brewzilla again. Yeah. Save transport in his all the way over here. Controversial. Controversial, indeed. <laughs> Water's just up to temp. We'll get the grains in, we'll get mashed in. Oh. There we go. Oh, there's no speciality grains. It's all nice stuff. Speciality green with what Marisotta and Marisotta. Yeah, Marisotta and Marisotta. Right, we're in. Look at that. Mm. Bosh. Come on then. Give it all a big stir in our lass. Right, I want temp probing. Yeah, wait, I'll go back. Yeah. Mm. Just make sure there's no tables. Giving it all a stir. Making sure no dough balls. The wrap temperature probe here. So we're matching at 65. Five. What are we at? Still going up. Oh, just 0.1 more, maybe. <laughs> there we go. There Lid we on, go. boys. Lid on, and away she goes for an hour. Yeah. So if you know your kit, you know what you're doing, you brew it a few times, it's a lot better than having. Big flash, fancy bit of kit that you hadn't ever brewed on before. Yeah. Six five is what we're in for. Six five is what we got. Mm. Yeah, man. Wraps on. And then. Uh, uh, sits there for an hour. And we're in. And we're in. We'll see you all in an hour. Right, everyone, that is mashing complete for the first hour. We're just going to pull it through now, set the grain bed, and uh, yeah, we'll come back when it comes back a bit clear. Looking nice and pale, though. Yeah, it smells lovely as well. It smells quality. We're not going to show you much of the runnings. We've showed you all before how it's done on this system. If you haven't, then watch one of our previous videos. Uh, we're just going to settle the grain bed, as Fenton said, and then we'll come back to you. I just want to say how incredible Marisotta smells when it's been mashed. It's genuinely probably my favourite smelling grain. It's as if you're cooking fresh bread on the moment. It is. That's literally what it's like. Absolutely class. And that's why we like it so much when we do as cascales, because cascale is like interpreting the fresh bread of beer. That's it. First running's complete. Got a bit of a slow pour, because yeah. I think our uh, crush is a bit fine. But It'll get there. It will, and it's, so we're boiling in Brewzilla. We do do brews on the Brewzilla. No, we don't anymore. Well, we, we don't really well, anymore, she's our but king. we did. She is the queen. <laughs> she's the boil kettle. Yeah, let's say Fenton bringing his along. <laughs> So that's the first run-ins into Brusilla. And now we've got our sparge water, which is... So it's 77 degrees, and it's what's remaining out of what we had, which the original water was 18 litres. Yeah. Around about. So I get this transferred into here, give it all a nice, good stir, and then we leave it for 15 minutes. So in essence, you mash out, and then we do the second run-ins into the Brusilla. Yeah, man. All right, gents, so it's uh, in our lass. 
Now, I'm going to leave that for 15 minutes. Yeah. And that'll be our... That's his mash out. Our mm. mash out. And we'll run essence. it through again, then to the boil. And then we'll be uh, gunning for the boil, going yeah, for it. So, come back to you in 15 minutes when we're ready. You caught me off guard. <laughs> Little sandwich break, and I've gone for a BLT, bit of raw onion, mayo and ketchup. Well, lovely. And because I'm a big lad, I've gone for sausage, bacon, spam, and egg. Cold eat it. Right, that's mash out done. Ben's going to give a pull through. Get him trained up on kit and he's just forgotten to take the lid I off. I forgot to take the lid off, I know. <laughs> what are you going to do with that now? <laughs> I've let him have the reins for two seconds. We've even got the bloody thing. <laughs> you got to twist it, mate. <laughs> Come on. <coughs> Yay, there we go. You won't think he's a big lad sometimes. I oh, know. It's certainly right, not muscle. So, no, so we've got there. <laughs> we've got there. Do it towards the back so you don't disturb yeah. the grain bed around the um, bazooka filter. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we'll get there. We're, we're on the move now. As some bloke said on the forum. <laughs> Neither of us have got a clue what we're doing, and they're not wrong. It's tickled him up the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll come back when we're uh, transferred. Right, guys, after a good while pulling through, I think we're looking pretty clear. So, I think we'll be ready to transfer. What do you yeah, think, man? I agree. Guys, transfer is underway. So, we've just got a little uh, glass of us. Running there and it looks beautiful. Lovely and pale. And I'm sure when we uh, show when we uh, ferment it out, it'll look as lovely as that as well. We're going to give it a mix in, and we're going to take a measurement for refractometer and hydrometer. See how they see how they do together. I will let it cool down to 20 degrees, so it's on the money as well. And then we'll get back to you. Thank you. Right, guys, five gram of citra going in at five minutes. You can just smell the lime and at 60 resiny. minutes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 60. Going in now. New equipment, guys, as well. Little update from us. Picked it up for 100 quid. It's going to be a beauty. Oh. So that is. 45 minutes of the boil done. We're going in with another five gram of citra, some proflock and some yeast nutrient. And straighten that, straight it all out. Um, we'd like to say a big thank you to whoever left a comment on putting too much yeast nutrient in. We realized it's not a teaspoon per gallon of beer at 5%. It's a teaspoon per gallon of wine. <laughs> so yeah. So we've cut down as yeast nutrient massively. Uh, thank you to whoever left that comment. Definitely. I think we're dosing it too much. Can but you it, can you smell that citra? It hasn't it hasn't affected as beer, thank God. So we're doing all right. Yeah. Final addition going in at zero minutes. And now time to kill the power. And get ready for cooling. Right, the cooling now down to the hop stand temperature. So we're at 95. 93. Seventy-five we're going for, isn't it? Yeah. And now the uh, whirlpool commences, so got fifteen or twenty minutes to be say. Fifteen minute yeah, whirlpool. It's Fenter's arms with uh, King DeWalt. King Zebolt. I'm just going to keep well pulling now, 15 minutes. Once that's down, we'll start the cool down all the way to 20 degrees. Should be achievable. Groundwater's pretty cold at the moment. Crazy. So. It'll, be, it'll be done in 20 minutes. Yeah. If that. Mm. And then we're straight on to another brew, aren't we? So, not next week's video, the week after. Yeah, we've Double got brew day. tasting. Yeah, and we've got a bit of tasting to do. Aye, right. mm, she's on farm. See, getting, con getting content for you guys. Yeah, man. Busy day. Very busy day. 
We're just spraying the yeast, ready to put in. What's the yeast we're going for? We have mentioned. Half a pack of CBC1. Yeah, Lalamond for cask and bottle conditioning. Thought we'd give it a try this time. If you have used it before, let us know what you thought in the comments down below. Just a clean. We had to give it a blow through just to get it kick started because the tubes had blocked again. Standard bruiser look. Standard. So, is that half? A bit more. We've got half a CBC one going in. Might, might have been a bit just over half, but... I think that's pulled a load of matter through. But it looks... It's all right, it'll settle. It'll settle. It's the only... We were just saying it's the only disadvantage with whale pulling. It breaks everything up. It's only a problem on that machine. Yeah. So, once again, questionable. Don't know how well that bottom plate's stopped at all. So we'll get lit once it's finished. We'll get lid on. We'll give it a good check. Uh, oxygenate it, and then uh, yeah, into the fermentation fridge we go. <sighs> Cheers, guys. Right then, everyone. That's it. End of the brew day. Um, end of the morning brew day. Yeah, end of the morning brew day. It's actually the evening, but we forgot to record it, so we're throwing it in now. Uh, we just finished our second brew. That video will be out in a few weeks' time. But, yeah, if you like the video, please feel free to comment, subscribe, like, drop us any hints or tips. Uh, it's been nice to get together and brew again. We've had a few weeks off where we haven't been able to get together, so, yeah, really enjoyable. The Citra, I'm really looking forward to trying. I think it's going to be really nice. Obviously, of course, the... Uh, tasting video will be out as soon as we've recorded it yeah and then yeah but thanks everyone i hope you had a good weekend